Well, welcome to uh, Friday afternoon March Madness here at Candrone. We're going to this afternoon have a look at what's inside our lunch boxes here. I've got yeah. Jackie here with me. Today we're going to be talking about the GVI's uh, V70 and we're going to compare that to the X3H. So we've got them here. We're going to open them and take them out of the box. Ooh. What's that over there? This is what I got. This is what I got. <laughs> All right. Well, I like mine better. <laughs> Here we are, March 17th. I love this green color because it's St. Patrick's Day. The main thing with the uh, X3H is the upgraded design. So GVI has come out with a much more compact design. They put a lot of new features on this that make it just easier to use and faster to, to deploy and get up and uh, fly your mission. All right, Jackie, what have you got there with the V70 from GVI? Yeah, the, the V70 was the first solid state uh, ladder system from Green Valley. Um, we had the system since 2021. So it's been a workhorse, but over the time, Green Valley has finally updated. Um, there, the system was really incredibly reliable. Uh, we use it all the time. You can kind of see how rough the box is. Um, so we put it through in many conditions, um, but it was time for Green Valley to update to the new X3H. Right. And yeah, some of the features on the X3 HR, it's now got a, a wonderful lens cover. So you got a, a real nice lens cover that reveals the LiDAR sensor as well as now the RGB camera that's built in and no longer an optional item. So we got the same the live aux sensor. Now we've got the integrated RGB camera, yep. 26 megapixel. How's that compared to the Sony that was on the V70? Yeah, so this one has the Sony uh, 5100. So it's a 24.3 megapixel camera. Both of them are still global shutters. So that means you can still use the photos to make ortho mosaics. And of course, some of the other features that uh, GVI has built now into the X3 are the one touch on off button and the easy to access port for not only your SD card, but also a USB in, uh, intersect. Um, also, GBI has done a nice job of uh, upgrading their, their uh, GNS wires. Uh, you may or may not have uh, experienced it in the past, but the wiring uh, in the past on the old ones is a uh, unicolor, so there's no difference in coloring between the, uh, the cables, and which can lead to errors as you're setting it up. So now that they've got a blue-green uh, color variation and easy access, they've also extended the length of the GNS wires to accommodate different uh, models of uh, drones that you may be flying it on. Yeah, and one thing I noticed as well is that your mount is a lot more rigid. The older mount was a little bit more flimsy. Um, it's still got, still got the job done, but this one is definitely a lot more heavy duty. Right. And it also labeled uh, which antenna is which, so Genesis 1 versus Genesis 2. Yeah. A lot of time in the past, we had to double check um, whether we had the antennas plugged in the right way, because if you plug in the wrong way, the system thinks that you're flying backwards. Great. That's after St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> now, the other thing is they've done is they've upgraded the IP rating. So it's yeah. slightly higher IP rating now. It's got the uh, IP64 versus IP54. So in reality, what does that mean, Jackie, when you're flying? Yeah, in reality, it doesn't really matter um, when you're out and about, but um, it's a nice set of protections to have. You know, when you're investing in something like this, you want to make sure that whether the weather changes, you're going to have your investment protected. Um, when it comes to LiDAR, you normally wouldn't fly in any rain. You start to pick up all those particles and raindrops. So the, just having a little bit more IP rating, IP64 on the X3 side, you're just going to know when you're in the air that any dew or any sort of uh, weather changes that your investment is going to be, be good. Right. So another one of the upgrades that uh, GVI has made is that they've changed the, or they've improved the, the ability to change modes. So it's much more simple. What does it mean when you're flying a mission? Yeah, so on the V70, um, they both still run the same uh, um, trusted Livebox AVIA sensor. So the same sensor, but on the X3, you're now allowed to change between the floral to the repeating pattern. So this allows you as a uh, professional ladder operator to be very strategic in your, in your scanning. So if you feel like there's an environment where floral mode isn't getting that penetration, you can switch to repeating lines and really ensure that your points are gonna go through in a much smaller uh, field of view. So GVI now has increased the storage capacity of the uh, X3H as well. So now I can handle 256 gigs of data on one SD card. So it means better flying time and capture more data, get more detail in, in each mission. Yeah, whereas this one is half the size, it's 128. Um, roughly each mission is about three to four gigs. Now that, that's not including the photos that you collect, so it adds really quickly. So to have that double in size, that's, re that's really helpful in the field, especially if you're out there for like a three or four day long mission. 
Live Reference is the software that's used in both the systems. They have updated the software to really allow you to take the raw files off of the X3H and to produce a very clean LES. What that means for you is that you can GeoReference your point cloud, clean it up, do strip alignment within the software, and export the LES to a program that you're familiar with, let's say AutoCAD or Civil 3D or whatever. The ladder market has sort of come down in price quite a bit over time, and the ladder, is, ladder market is starting to mature. So the price difference between the X3 and the V70, the X3 is actually cheaper than the V70 um, with all these cool packed features. Nice, yeah. yeah, nice. So good value all around. Green Valley, great product. Whether you choose the V70 or now the upgraded X3H, you're, in, you're gonna have a great LiDAR system for your missions. Yeah, and yeah. the model you have right there, that is actually our demo unit. So if you're interested in trying it out before you buy, we can also rent that out or do a demo. If you're in the Burnaby area, feel free to pop into our facility and just say hi, and we'd be more than happy to do a little demo in the backyard. So that pretty much wraps it up for us today here at the Canberra March Madness St. Patrick's Day review of the GVI V70 yep. and the X3H. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell, and you'll be informed about all the new content that we put out on a regular basis. Uh, if you're in the Burnaby area, like Jackie said, please drop in and see us. But if you'd like to reach us by email, it's mike at candrone.com.